Mr. Excel podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel podcast episode 1684, Scraping Web Pages. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Well, yesterday in episode 1683, I had a little formula here, is odd, is even to try and find the houses on a certain side of the street. And then uh, we had these hyperlinks here, and I showed you a quick little macro that would take those hyperlinks and put them out in column F, so we actually see the hyperlink dot address. Today, the goal is to go and visit each one of those hyperlinks and retrieve some information from that page. So I have the start of a macro up here. Uh, let's see. We, so we have two worksheets. WSD is my first worksheet. That's the one with the whole list of 70 properties. And then WSW, I'm going to create on the fly. Actually, I'm going to create it 70 times on the fly. So we're going to go from row two to row 71 for each row. We're going to build a variable called this URL. It's going to be the value from column six. That's column F, and I'm going to prepend that with URL semicolon. This is what the web query needs. This parcel is column A. See, so column one is column A. Put a P before that, and then we're going to add a new worksheet. Worksheets dot add. Where do we want to add it? We want to add it after the last worksheet. So I just say, hey, what's what's the count right now? I was tempted to use I, but it'd be one too many, so I'd have to use I minus one. Yada yada. Just no. Uh, and then rename that worksheet to be this parcel. I used a P before the parcel number because I hate to have worksheet names that are numeric. It's hard to select them later. That's why I added the P and then select that uh, worksheet. Now, do a web query here. Well, that's a heck of a lot of code to do a web query here. Uh, I don't remember that code, so I'm going to do what I always do when I get to something hard. I turn on the macro recorder. So we come back here, we're going to add a, a little worksheet. Uh, I'm going to copy this big long URL. Uh, to the clipboard. So I'm going to choose the whole thing in the formula bar. It's very important you do it in the formula bar. Control C, we're on the clipboard, now escape. All right, and then here on sheet one, we're going to turn on the macro recorder. View, macros, record macro, leave everything the way it is, click OK. And then the macro recorder is now recording all of my steps. I go to data, get external data from web. We will paste in the URL that we copied here. Control V to paste, click go. All right, now maybe there's a particular table here that I want, but I'm just going to get the whole web page and we'll deal with that later. Click import, goes to A1, great. There we go, that's it. We can stop recording now. Let's go look at our code, Alt F11. Uh, where did the code go? Goes to a new module, module two. All right, so um, right here you can see where they've, they've put that big long connect string in. We're going to have to modify that to work with our data. So I'm going to copy these lines of code, go back to module one where my comment says do a web query here, and we'll just paste. All right, so they're using Active Sheet, which is going to work because I selected WSW. That's great. Uh, the connection colon equals this big long string. I don't need that. I'll go shift down arrow. There we go. And then backspace a little bit. All right, so. This URL is our connection and destination range A1. Command type 0, that's something uh, new. I don't know what that is. We're going to get rid of that. And uh, name, we don't need to have this big long name every time. I do like to make each query have a different name though. So I'm going to use uh, query ampersand i, just that way the names are unique each time. Get rid of that. Okay, now everything else here is generally okay. I always go down and make sure that refresh background query is equal to false. You never want to have this be equal to true. If you leave that as false, then the macro has to pause until the query finishes. Uh, if you would let it be as true, then you know the first sheet is trying to retrieve the query, and the macro is already on the sheet too. And now you have a whole bunch of different um, sheets trying to pull data from the same website. Uh, if you don't irritate the uh, website, like sometimes the website only allows so many connections from the same machine. Uh, I just I always let it go one at a time, and then next I will go back up and get our next line. Let's uh, just do debug compile here, see if there's any obvious mistakes. All right, Alt F11, go back to Excel. We can actually get rid of this temporary sheet. All right, Alt F8, and we're going to say retrieve pages, and we'll click run. Okay, so down in the status bar, now we'll zoom in down there. You can see that it's uh, switching back and forth very rapidly between uh, connecting to the web, copying data from the web page, retrieving uh, web data, and so on. So every time we see that those 
come back to let's say copying, we know that it's getting the next page. There's 70 pages to get. It'll take a while. I'll just I'll pause the recording here and we'll let it finish. All right, there we go. Look at that. All those sheets. Uh, hopefully there should be about 70 sheets there. Control left click. Uh, we'll right click and there is the whole list of sheets. All right, so we have now retrieved data from 70 different web pages. Tomorrow we just need to go through and uh, write a little macro or maybe some indirect formulas. I'm not even sure how I'm going to do it to uh, grab the sales data from each of those pages. All right, so using a macro and a web query to scrape data uh, for, in this case, 70 different web pages. All right, well, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. You know, by the way, uh, code like this is in VBA and macros. Of course, the Excel 2013 version's out. There's been, uh, what, 2003, 2007, 2010, 2013, four different editions of this book. So, uh, this, in fact, this very code that we're creating today uh, is similar examples in that book. Check it out. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.